If you live in South Florida and it just rained, now you have a flooded yard. A French drain is not the answer to remove the water. You need a catch basin and probably a sump pump. Watch this video, learn how hey, to do this morning. yourself. Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're gonna to talk about sump basins and what's the best sump basin to use in your outdoor system or your crawl space or your basement. We're also gonna to touch on some catch basins and different sizes and how they work in your French drain and why we recommend that you install these at the same time as you install your French drain. So let's get started. Okay, catch basins. Let's just touch on that really quick because we're gonna go over that. We're actually going to install a small French drain. It's gonna come over here to the sump basin. You can see I've already got it set up and it's gonna lift it up. It's just gonna pump it out to a natural area out back there. But Let's start with this little six by six. These are called six by six speed basins. They, they don't come with the lid. You gotta buy the grate. So they're about 15 bucks. This is about 10 or $12. And this is between four and $6. So about 15 bucks. And it's really a great little basin to pick up that low spot in your yard. As water comes across the ground, it drops into the basin and it's carried away. Most floods in people's backyards are actually surface water and not the underground water that the French drain is designed to pick up. And then we've got a nine by nine. These are all made by NDS and great. These are so easy to snap together. This one's just a little bit bigger of a basin. That means it can hold a little bit more water. The debris as it drops in there stays down in the bottom and the water is carried away. And then we have a 12 by 12 and you can see the difference. It's a lot bigger um, and again, it just holds more water and debris at the bottom, allowing more debris to be cap captured. And that's really about the only difference. Okay, sump basins. These are truly the best basins for the DIY or the contractor. Whether you're putting this outside like this, or whether you're putting it down in a crawl space or a basement, these are really the best basins available. And they're everywhere. They're in Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, Ace, all of these stores carry these things and they're all about the same price. This is an ADS basin. You see the lid says ADS on it. And this is my favorite basin, by the way. I think this one is by far the easiest to use and probably works the best. It's got all kinds of knockouts around it. It's got a nipple that can be cut off. It's almost preset. Almost every drain that you put in is gonna come into this port right here. And for whatever reason, NDS figured that out. But really what it is, is a French drain, for example, in the backyard is going to be anywhere from 14 to 20 inches deep. And by the time you put gravel down in the bottom, and yes, you need to put gravel down in the bottom of that trench for it to work properly. By the time you put that gravel down there, it's going to, that bottom of that pipe is going to come in right here. And it's perfect almost, almost every time. But it has knockouts that you can cut with a four inch hole saw. Oh, I mean, you can come way down here to the bottom and this is the lowest that you can come by the way is right here in this basin with the M98 the Zoller M98 so that's the ADS basin and again it, it is truly the by far the best basin it's, it's all ribbed it doesn't collapse it's perfect for the outdoor or for the indoor sump basin this one's called a jackal and this is a little bit more solid, but the reason it's more solid is because it comes with a lid. I've already, this is a used lid, but I've already cut these out for different things, but you can actually lock this down and it comes with, the lid comes with grommets so that you can set this on there. It comes with screws, you lock it in place and it becomes radon tight. So a really great one for your basement if you're concerned about radon um, and you wanna put a radon pump down in here also, this is perfect for that. So two great basins that blow the others away. I mean, there is nothing that comes close to this. And I'm going to dig a trench here, put a French drain in and show you why these basins work better than anybody else's. Okay, let's dig a trench. You know, if you've watched any of my videos, I really do give you so much information and tips on how to install these systems. And the first tip is when you're digging your trench, Lay out your plastic so you can set your sod on one side, and dirt on the other side. We're not going to worry about sod here. Always dig backwards. And set your dirt right there on the tarp so that you're easily able to put that back. But the real tip here is 
if you're going to try to use one of these kind of shovels, you're going to be hurting hurt really bad. <laughs> this is not the shovel to use to dig a trench. It's too small. You can see how far I'm bending over. And by the end of a trench, by the end of about 20 minutes, your back's going to hurt pretty bad. This is not the shovel to use to dig a trench. So back to a good sharp shovel. These are Razorbacks and that's my favorite shovel. I get these at Home Depot. We're just going to dig a little trench here. Dig it back. Remember to dig backwards. Very important. And the reason why is that after you dig down your first pass, we're going to come back and push that shovel with our body weight and clean it out. And it's going to be at the perfect depth for almost every drain line. Real simple. You can see how quickly I'm digging this trench and it's going to be perfect. Use your body weight, push it forwards, and then just lift that dirt right out of there. I'll bring the camera over here in just a second so you can see it. Go right up to your discharge. In this case, it is our sump pump is the discharge. So let me bring the camera over here, take a look at this trench. Okay, for the first example, I'm just gonna use a piece of Easy Flow. I like to use this, it's a self-contained French drain. It's got the fabric around it. And you'll because it's wrapped, totally wrapped in styrofoam peanuts, that's our base of gravel on the bottom. It, it, this is the perfect level, look. It slides right into our opening. And it is at the perfect level for us to put dirt back on the top and sod. It's just perfect. That trench is absolutely perfect with one path. Okay, fabric wrapped French drains. This fabric is called Stay Green. And this is the best fabric that I've actually found that you don't need to order and spend thousands of dollars for something that is being called punched. And you know, this stuff works great. I've got a couple of videos showing you how fast it works and I have had no problems with it at all. It's very strong. It's made from recycled bottle caps and it works really good. But anyways, so what you do is lay out your fabric. There's your trench. Lay out your fabric down the trench. Cover that whole trench up. And then you push it down to the bottom and just keep that off to the sides. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a base of gravel down here. And I'm just gonna use gravel by the bag. You know, for the DIYer, it's the best there is. If you've got a truck or a trailer, great. But if you don't, gravel by the bag works really good. So this is just drainage stone. And just rip it open. And we're gonna put a base of gravel down here in the bottom of the trench. You don't need much. Two inches is more than enough. We're just going to spread that out all the way through our perforated pipe section. I'm just doing a small drain to show you, but you got the picture. <laughs> so again, if you're going to use perforated pipe that has holes in it, Remember, the holes must point down into the gravel because the way this system works is water floods up. This system is designed to grab underground water, subsurface water. It's not made to catch water from the top. So this actually floods up into the holes of the pipe and the pipe carries it away. So we stick it into our basin and back here, we're actually gonna put a catch basin. Remember I said that catch basins are very important and they allow the surface water to drop into that system. This is perfect, this little six by six. It'll go right here into our low spot. That's just perfect right there. So we're gonna go ahead and pour some uh, gravel in here. Let me set this up a little bit better. Yep, let's go ahead and cover that pipe with gravel.
one more bag. That's take your perfect. scissors and cut this off. We're just going to fold it over. And you could pin it if you wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary. Just like that. Then we're just going to throw some soil on it and cover it up. Perfect. Let's cut the rest of this fabric away. Okay, now just backfill it a little bit to help hold everything together because, again, you could pin it, but there's not really any reason to. There's no need to. That dirt's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> Then you'd put your sod back on top there if you had it, and it would settle really nice. So the reason you put that tarp out there is because you can easily pull it over and just dump it right there. Or you can haul this whole tarp away, whatever you want. I usually mount mine up a little bit high, because I know that it settles dramatically. So I just put it all on there. And then we'll come back and take some away as needed. Okay, really quick. A lot of people ask, you know, what if this line's deeper than this particular basin? Well, I've showed you that you can buy this insert and you can cut this off to any level you want to extend that catch basin to any height that you want and it's going to work exactly the same so that's just a real quick tip there but what I want to do if I can get it out of here <laughs> is go ahead and just pour I've got some water in that basin I've got some water in that basin GoPro set up I'm going to flood this area here and you can see how this system works and you're also going to see how well that sump basin works and why it's the best one on the market Okay, as I flood this area, what you're going to see is water flooding this area out here and the water's going to come into the basin, drop down, the sump pump's going to lift it up All right, and send it let's go ahead out. and dump this. Notice that the water's going into the catch basin. It's not going into there. It's going into the catch basin. This is surface water. Now it's going down and into the gravel because I actually kind of eroded it right there. But catch basin is so important. You got to have them on your system. And you can see it traps all the debris. No debris gets down in there. And any debris that does, you reach inside and there's nothing in there, but you reach inside and clean it out. Catch basins on your French drains, very, very important. This system is really great if you live in South Florida, the Miami, Boca Raton, Port Lauderdale, in those areas, all the way up into Melbourne, because the land is so flat. The only thing that's going to remove water from your backyard or side yard is a sump pump. This also holds true wherever you live, and it's uphill from your backyard to the street. The same thing. You're going to need a sump pump to lift that water up and send it out to the storm drain. Also remember, as you're digging your trench, make sure you really go deep right at the sump basin. That's the best place to go deep on your line. That helps that water really surge and get into the basin. So starting in the lowest portion of your yard, that's where your catch basin will go. Because when it rains hard, it is surface water that is flooding, not underground water. We need to catch that surface water with the catch basin. It will drop into that catch basin, flow downhill to your sump pump. The sump pump's going to lift it up and send it out to the natural area or the street or storm. Remember, it is the catch basin that is collecting the water, 
during an event rainfall, when a sudden downpour comes, it is not the French drain. <laughs> so if you're still not convinced, let's go ahead and open up this French drain. I want you to see it for yourself. Look how dry this gravel is. There has not been any water that has come from the top and dropped down into the system. Remember, the French drain is designed to collect subsurface water. Take a look. There's our gravel and our fabric. You can see this is dry as a bone. No water comes down from the top into your French drain. It's virtually impossible. Okay, a quick review. I gave you a lot of tips there. You know, one was digging backwards using this shovel, not to use that little shovel because it'll hurt your back. Catch basins, extensions, all kinds of little tips there. But I've worked up a little sweat. So let's go ahead and look at some real installs, some real life examples of what we're talking about. I think you'll see even more and understand that those two basins by far are the best basins out there on the market. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.